Steamer ducks are under-researched species, which piqued the Surrey interest and brought an enthusiastic PhD student to the islands. During the project's fieldwork, Alex has been spending weeks following ducks in Stanley Harbour, Eliza Co. and Surf Bay to collect blood and feathers to analyze their dietary diversity, as well as tagging the birds to collect data about their distribution, territory size and unique features in their behavior. But one of the key questions in the project is what kind of habitat the steamer ducks prefer and what leads to the breeding success. Breeding success is, uh, so, like say, a nest has eight eggs. It will be a 100% success if from the eight eggs you have eight chicks, which then get independence and they swim away. So we don't know how many eggs are being led uh, instantly, how many survive the stage to where the parents gently pushes the, 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 the juveniles away from the territory, because they are territorial birds and they accept their chicks, but once they are I think 12 weeks old, it's time to, to go away. So we are, we are interesting also to contrast between Blicker and here, see if there's any differences. So since the beginning of the study, we tagged 13 ducks. Um, and uh, the plan for this year, if everything goes well in the perfect world, would be 20 here on Stanley and 10 on Blicker. Also, we, we wanted to put the, the GPS to have an idea of the territory size. After a duck is tagged, the team checks on it daily to collect the data. The GPS tags are equipped with solar panels and long-range Bluetooth, which is detected by the antenna on a reasonably close distance from the duck. The antenna is connected to the base station, which transfers the collected data about the duck's movements during the day to the app in Alex's phone. It's a lot of patience, honestly, that's the key. Patience and uh, just keep trying and keep trying again and again. The funny thing is, we, what we've observed here is the female is the one very vigilant. The male just goes around careless, just eating around. And if she spots you, it's over. As in Blicker, I think they are less used to people hiking around and dogs as well. So. Yeah, well, one day we were on uh, York Bay, there was a pair sleeping there, sunbathing, perfect for catch. And then you know the little white dogs just went for the ducks, which went for the sea, and yeah, we didn't catch anything that day. Oh, and they're called steamer ducks because when they swim with their feet and their um, wings, they look like steamer boats because you know they're like paddling like that. And uh, they're, they're going up to 30 kilometers an hour when they do that. and it's. It's a behavioral um, display for territory, for example. So when you have uh, two males starting fighting, usually the females are there as well. They let the male start, and then if they're not happy, they just come and, and join the fight, and they can just steam around. Once we were trying to catch a male with Sebastian, and um, we, did, we did not catch him, but we saw the female steaming towards us, like, he's my man, don't touch it. And yeah. So, it's, it's a beautiful species. The three-year PhD project is in its early stages, so we are hoping to learn more about these unique creatures in the future.